So you want to know how to fix your trains that keep clogging up like this? Well, that is what we are going to be looking at in today's Fix Your City episode. Thank you for joining me. My name is Biffa. If you're brand new to this series, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other episodes. And stay around till the end of the video where I will link you to an amazing video as well that you may or may not have seen before. Go and watch that. Check it out. So what is going on here? We have got... Uh, this city here is sent to us by Matt. The city is called Los Rios, and it's quite a good-looking city. We've got uh, 100,000 population. The traffic, 77%. So you could say that is not too shabby at all. But we are just going to be concentrating on trains. And look at this. They're all clogged up. They're all clogged up. They're all clogged up. All clogged up. And he said he sort of threw in the trains as an afterthought after he built his city. And, yeah, it needs fixing. So let us take a look at what we've got going on here. Let's open this up. So we've got our outside line coming in here, which is fine. That comes into the city. And it crosses over the river here. And then it's split. So this side goes this way. And we have... Uh, we've got a train station there, which is good. And then if we go a little bit further along... Yep, so that goes back out over there. Yep, okay, and it goes round this way, and it goes into this area of the city where we've got a lot of traffic building up. <laughs> I might be, I might just take a look at some traffic. I've turned off um, despawning in in here, so that's probably why a lot of it's building up again. But anywho, anywho, we'll try and stay concentrating on the trains. So that comes over to this side of the city, which isn't too bad on the trains. They're moving okay. This line round here, it splits off again, goes down here, leaves again. I think what your main problem is... Let's go back to where we started. Oh, man, yeah, look, this is all backing up. Oh, it's all backing up to the main line. Look, and as more trains come down, he's going to hit this, and then he's going to block the main line soon. Yeah, so this is all blocked up as well. Okay, so they all want to go into you've got these two lines oh i see you've got this one here so you've got intercity trains disabled if you want it for local trains only which is good what i want to check is which stations that you have set up to take traffic from other cities so you've got this one here smack bang in the middle i think that's going to be the only one let me grab this one here we're going to turn that one off and then what we're going to do is we're going to let the game run for a bit. And you'll see immediately you'll get no trains from the outside. Which, you know, you don't want to do that all the time because it'll affect your tourism and everything. Oh, that's a nice look looking cargo train. Um, but that will immediately free up all of these trains once these despawn. And there we go. Things are moving again. All of the intercity trains, the trains coming from outside your city, have gone. I mean, this is still getting a little bit clogged up. Well, we'll come back to the layout of the lines. Yeah, see, this is going to block up here. <laughs> and now he can't come out because they can't move. Yeah, so we'll, we'll look at that. Oh, hang on. He's going. Where's he going to go? Oh, he's going that way. So that will free up that again. But it just goes to show that there's lots of people. Look, lots of people want to use your trains, which is fantastic because that will keep... Uh, traffic off of your road. So, I mean, if we actually have a look. So, we've got all these different lines. How many people do we have waiting at them? Not many on that one. So, you've got 275 waiting on that one. Uh, that one's not too shabby. So, some of these that aren't so busy. I mean, like this one here. I would just delete that. So you've got 146. So, this is like a really busy one, this one here. Which is maybe the one we were just looking at. Yeah. So, anyway... Let us take a look at separating out your trains that come from outside the city. Okay, we're the other end of the map where your airport is now. And you've got your line coming in from the outside. Now, just notice this one here is allowed uh, for intercity trains. That must be the only other one that I found. And what's happening is they're all turning up. And they're all getting out and getting in their cars. And they're all heading into the city driving. So that is going to give you a whole load of traffic. Uh, coming in so what i would do is i would have another railway station right here that they could then transfer to to get into the city via train because it is you know it's quite a trek to get from here to you know if they wanted to come all the way over to here over there it is quite a trek so let us set up a little something here where we can have your intercity trains and your internal train line as well 
Okay, a little bit of a change around here. We have got the multi-platform end station, which is set to not allow trains from other outside sources. And then we've got this box standard train station allowing trains from outside sources. And they will start turning up eventually from there. And when they do, these people will either walk over here and get on the planes and leave again, <laughs> or they'll get their cars out, or they will jump in here and start taking trains to different parts of our city. And you can set up... Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six different lines coming off of here to go around your city, which would be fantastic. So I'm going to find... Let's have a look. I've moved the two lines over here that you've got already, but I want to find the other train stations that you've got in here and see if we can hook up to them. So we've got that one over there. So I want to set up one line that comes from here and goes to there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete all of these lines well there we go excellent so let us make a brand new line we'll start at the bottom there so that's going to come out let's get rid of that so that's going to come out go up to here and go back again and that is literally all that train will do you might find that is not far enough away to get a lot of traffic hopefully it is uh, we shall see. When I say traffic, I mean get a lot of people on there. So then the train line goes along here. There's this one over here. So to get to that one, that's having to go. And let's have a look. All the way up there. Let's just pop it in so we can see. It's coming all the way up there, all the way along here. All the way down there. And all the way along here. So actually, yeah, that's not too bad. We'll, we'll pop that one in. Uh, this one over here is actually quite close to that one. So... I wouldn't necessarily have two that close together. I would maybe move this one to down this end. Let's just have a quick look. Actually, do you know what? I've left it going to there because what you've also got on here, which you couldn't immediately see, is this nice little subway that runs underneath, which you could extend to over there perhaps. So yeah, I'm going to leave that one. That's fine. Um, and then where else have we got? We've got this one here. So we're going to add a stop to there. So I'm going to set these up as they are. There we go. And then I'm going to tweak some stuff. And we're going to see what difference it makes. Is there one over here in Danville? No, there isn't. So do you know what we're going to do? We are going to put a nice little train station over here in Danville to connect up to as well. So to help us do that, I'm just going to extend this little road down here. There we go. Just a couple of spots before it turns into the national road. We're going to pop that. We'll pop it up nice and close on there. And then we'll run this train track. We want it over to that line there. So I've downloaded a few intersections, uh, which you will get when you load up the games. There we go. So we've just adjusted the line so it goes around and connects up to this new one here. And we can have our final station. There we go. Running from the last platform over here. Our final line, I mean, to our new station all the way up and over to here. So, I mean, that's certainly going to help with some traffic of people that want to switch around there we go so that has now enabled everybody coming in via your planes and everybody coming in from trains from the outside line uh, let's make that little mauve color there we go to go anywhere in your city and we can see that this airport is pretty pretty busy a lot of people coming in and it won't take long before people start switching over there. Now, what we could do as well, we could slightly change that up a little bit. Because we've also got... Um, let's go back to our... Oh, we're on the trains. We could also use this one here. The multi-platform train station, which is... I mean, I call it a roll-in, roll-off, but you've also got six either side. You can have six stops on the left and six stops on the right. What you could do is put that somewhere more central in your city, where you've got some space, um, and have six stops from this side converge on the multi-platform end station, and then six stops from the other side that go somewhere else, and it makes the switching point more central to your big city because it's quite a sprawling city you've got here but i'm just going to work with what you've got and we're going to leave this running at the end and there we go look we can see all the trains coming in coming out we've got enough space here to let them do that which is fantastic so let's see if we can deal with some of the congestion problems that you've got so that one there is okay you've got lots of room to fit a whole train i mean i would maybe i'm going to use the move it mod just move that back just a bit. 
Just check it's all okay. Just so you've got enough room. There we go. Look, between the junction there and the junction there, you can fit a whole train. So normally that isn't going to get caught up in any problems. Uh, let's follow it this way. That's probably okay. Uh, you've got bypasses, so people that don't want to go into the train station don't have to. They can go straight past. Normally, when you're doing bypasses, you want a longer runoff. So this little short runoff that you've got here. And then if we go into there, <clears throat> there we go. So that can go in. You've got plenty of room for queuing. Plenty of room for queuing coming out. I mean, that's a bit close, that little junction there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. That's okay. Plenty of space. That's only a cargo one. Then it runs all the way down here. Yeah, this is far too small. So there we go. Plenty of space to fit a whole train in. Let's give it a test. Oh, actually, no, for the cargo trains, not big enough to fit those in. So let's drag that down a little bit further. So let's just go to there. And then this one here, I think we'll bring it out from here instead. So we've got absolutely tons of room. There we go. I and mean, you want to make sure that that's going to connect up both ways. Let's bring that over. There we go. You can see the track just kicked in. And make sure each of your three points are all connecting. There we go. Perfect. That should be, when he works out where he's going, plenty of space. So let's continue to follow this track down. So that then goes back round to where we were before. That's fine. If we go this way again... Yeah, very, very small. And this is a cargo train one. So you're going to get lots of cargo trains that are pretty big coming down here. So let me fix this. There we go. Good example. Those two trains. That one's too long. And that one probably just about fit in. There we go. Plenty of room. Check your corners. Yep, yeah, all joined up. All joined up. That's fine. So that's the end of the line there. Let's follow it here. That leaves the city. Excellent. So let's follow it back round the other way, back into the city. Yeah, you've just got completely confused about what's going on, haven't you? Let's <laughs> let's get rid of you. Sorry, everybody. That was my fault. That's because I've been manoeuvring the lines around. There we go. Excellent. So this goes up here. Um, that maybe is a little bit too short. This one's okay. That's nice and long. So what we'll do is we'll go from there and we'll just sort of run it just a little bit further down and join it up there. Check the corners. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. Good, good, good. That runs up to a cargo station. Nice. So that was the bypass. Then we're back along the river. That's plenty long enough. Although I don't think that is joining up properly. No, it isn't. Look, let's just fix that up for you. So let's grab this, there we go, and check this side as well, that's all, oh no, look, that one hasn't joined up properly either, no, you got to be careful, got to be careful, that's fine, so where does that one take us to, let's follow that, so that goes along here, I don't think, you know, we've got a train here, we can add a train there, and this little, look, another little, this is going to cause tons of problems. Yeah, there you go. A little bit more room. Ideally, you wouldn't want that so close to the station, but that should be okay. And then we've got this. This up here. This is this is very interesting. So let's have a look what you've got. You've got a line crossing over. And then you've got this line going off over here to a cargo station. And then you've got this one coming down here to a train station right there. So there's barely any room. And then this one's coming back down here to a train station. I mean, this little crossing thing's okay. You've got plenty of space. It's this one here that's causing the issue. Hmm. So what can we do about that? We definitely need to do something about that because that is far too close. You know what we're going to do is we are going to move this and we are going to stick it down there. Yep. That's what we're going to do to give us some space. We're going to get this train line to run alongside here. So I thought what we're going to do, we'll put a straight piece in first that we can hook up to. There we go. And then we'll go like that. So that's going to run up there. Um, and we can have one come off there and one come off down there. Yeah, let's do that one. So we'll have that one for going that way. Is that underground? I think it might be. There we go. That's fine. That's stayed underground. And then if we just get rid of this little bit here, we can join those two up. There we go. Excellent. So that can join up to there and go that way. And then I was hoping to get another one coming off of there to go down here to join on here. We're going to run out of space. Hold on a sec. 
There we go. It ain't pretty, but it'll work. We've got this one coming on down there. And then we've got this one coming up this side. So there's plenty of space for trains to back up and go either side. Let's move that stop. There we go. All done. I hadn't connected that rail correctly. Good. So that's now going to come into there. And that should hopefully stop all of the traffic we were seeing there. I mean, again, you've got this junction really close to this one. This one doesn't leave you enough room for a whole train. You always want to think, if you've got... There we go. Let's take that one there. If you've got a junction, you always want enough room that you could fit a train in it. So, I mean, how far down can we go? I'm going to have to move some of these things around. Let's move that down to there. There we go. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's bring that one out. Will that connect up to there? No. I don't think it will. Oh, yeah, it will. There we go. Check that that's going to connect up all right. Maybe with a little tweak. There we go. Excellent. So this gap here now could fit a whole train in, as well as this line and that line. Between this one and this one, you can't fit in a whole train. We might just have to make do with that. Yeah, for this. Unless we connected that further down here. But then you get have the same problem here. So let's just leave it like that. And we'll see how that runs for a while. Okay, so even though it's trains that we're concentrating on here, I just can't leave a massive tailback like this <laughs> going down this highway. And it's weird because normally the tailback is on the side where people are going to turn off. Look. So that guy was in there and then he came out and went over there. What we are going to do is we're going to do our usual fix for that part. We are going to make that... Is this four lane? Yeah, four lane highway there. So you've got... The one lane that goes off, and then the other three go on. And hopefully they'll sort themselves out. Um, then that goes back to three lane. That goes to four lane. We'll do both of those. And then you've got the lane for coming off. Back to three lane. And then you're back to four lane again, because you've got three lane plus this one. And I sort of do three or four lengths, just to give them a bit of space. And then we'll follow that down. And where are they all going? Where are they? Okay, we've got another one here. Let's do a couple of three lengths there. So we've got a slip lane going off. That's all three. And then that goes to four again there. Did I do that right, this one down here? Uh, yes, because we've got those other lanes. Okay, and then we'll come down here. So that goes to three. This goes back to four, which we've done. And then after that... Okay, so what are they doing here? So we've got four lanes. Two going each way. That's good. So they can sort out what to do there. Excellent. Uh, one, two, three, four. We might as well. This is four lanes as well, isn't it? It's just a different type of four lane. And then we get into this interesting thing, and that's all running okay. So hopefully, that will help these guys decide that they're not going to do this silly lane switching in the middle. Yeah, like down here. And what I'm going to do, just to force them not to do that in any stupid spot, is I want them to pick a lane when they come out the end here. So I'm going to do that and do shift S. I'm going to do that, do shift S. That's fine. They can pick a lane there. I'm going to do shift S there. That's fine. They can pick a lane there. Shift S. They can pick a lane there, there. We're going to go shift S there, shift S there. And then they can pick a lane back there. So I don't want them to pick a lane to change until it goes from three to four or from four to three, like this along here. Don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. So what I'm doing with Shift S is making these just go straight on. So they have to pick their lanes before they get to this section. It's just a bit of weird traffic AI. There we go, look, as we move a bit further along, I mean, they're still switching a bit weirdly there, but there's just a bit of a bulk of traffic because they've all backed up, but look. Moving, 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 moving. They're all moving along fine. What have you got going on here? That's certainly an interesting junction. Let's just take a look. So you've got traffic lights there. Where are these other side roads coming from? Yeah, I'm going to turn that off. And I am going to say that I want you to stop. No, I want you, 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 you to have... There we go. And you to stop. Oh, that's a one-way road. Yeah, that's better. Keep this moving on the middle here. And I'm going to do the same over here. There we go, and I want this middle section there to have priority, and you will wait. Yep, there we go, excellent. What are we up to? 76. Can't complain, even though I wasn't really looking at traffic.
All right, okay. I just have to fix this thing up here. It's making me twitch. Uh, that road's going to go. That road's going to go. Um, 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 let's just see what we're going to do here. I know you said you didn't want traffic fixing, but I've just got to do it. it it's just got to happen. Uh, let's take the three-lane highway and upgrade these. I'm going to not rebuild the whole thing. I, I would like to put in here like a little nice roundabout thing, but we're going to do a square about like this. Um, yeah, I'll come back and have a look at that in a second. And then we're going to take that off there and that off there and that off there and that off there. So you've got that going around. Don't mind those roads coming in. That's fine. So traffic at the minute. <laughs> now I've deleted some roads. 76%, which is good. Um, let's take these highway ramps. So that one's going to... Oh, we're going to have some weird curves. Let's get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Much, much smoother. I mean, it's not perfect. I don't want to just delete the whole thing and remove it. But yeah, there we go. What are we up to for the traffic? Oh, I put this little path over the top as well. So people can still walk from one side to the other. And we can see that they're using that quite happily. Traffic, 76%. It's going up. It's going up. That's good. So let's go back and look at our trains. That was the main thing you wanted me to fix. So do we have any train traffic jams? Well, before we do that, I wanted to show you all the people coming in. There we go. We've just had a, a train come in from the outside, drop all of these people off. And some of them are coming over here to the airport. Some of them are getting their cars. The rest of them are coming over here and jumping on the trains. There we go. To go around our city. And if we... Or your city, I should say. And if we have a look. Yep, no traffic jams there. No traffic jams there. You know, train traffic jams. You know what I mean? Um, everything's going all right down here. This bit's okay. Where was the bit that had the... There we go. Yeah, this bit. This is this is the bit I'm worried about the most. But we're okay. Nothing's getting in each other's way. We've got lots of space for trains to go. I mean, if you want to completely redo things yourself, what I would perhaps suggest is the airport and your intercity trains and this, your hub that goes everywhere, have that more central. So I would perhaps go here even this spot here and then have a train line to there to here to there to over here to there and to over here and then one over here as well even if it means you need to use that double ended platform this one here because that'll give you 12 platforms six on each side whereas this one only gives you six. Oh, it says 12 platforms oh i misunderstood that okay you've got 12 there as well of course yeah two on each thing um, so yeah, something along those lines, but I didn't want to rebuild your airport and everything. I wanted to show you what you could do and your train lines are working fine now Nothing's nothing's getting caught up. I would also normally keep your cargo line separate But if you do things right and there's lots of passing spots then, then the trains will just drive over the top of the other trains fantastic Then you'll find that yeah, it normally just keeps flowing nicely and there's no problems. I mean it is busy but everything is running smoothly. I'm just going to leave this running for a second just to make sure this is coping with everything. Yeah, it's fine. It's coping. It's busy, but, you know, it's doing okay. I mean, you could even add another line from here going sort of up over and connecting over here. So the trains that are going all the way to this side of the city have a shortcut to go but you know there we go hopefully that has helped you with your city you've got plenty of demand so keep growing you're making lots of money as well it's on unlimited because that's what you had it on so what do you reckon to these changes to the trains let me know in the comment below do you want me to fix your city check out the pinned comment on how to upload your save to steam maybe it's parks maybe it's industry maybe it's traffic i'm trying to look for different things not just traffic all the time keep things fresh and interesting and try and cover all the different problems you might have in your city if you enjoyed hit subscribe and the notification bell why not leave a like as well check out the other video that's on the screen there's been some amazing fixes that have been happening and thank you very very much for watching take care everybody bye bye